can barely move my face. You're probably wondering what the hell is going on. Let me explain. I don't naturally track my spending. Like I'll check, I have mint. I do check it occasionally and I usually, I know, like I just know not to spend. You know, that's just how I guess I budget. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna go over what I spend in sunny Los Angeles, home of, I was gonna say the influencers, but I know they're all moving to New York now. So the girlies are on the East Coast and the natives have stayed in LA with prices driven up and real estate insanely high because of probably them. So if you're following, you know what I do for work. You pretty much know how much I make. I'm pretty transparent with my income here. You kind of see the life I live. I mean, you've seen me kind of upgrade. I feel like my lifestyle hasn't inflated that much. Maybe this video will show otherwise. And if you're not subscribed, girl, what are you doing? I talk about business, lifestyle, um, basically just, it's just about me. I don't want to say too much, so let's just get into the video. All right, it's Monday morning and I'm gonna go to the gym in a little bit. I'm gonna eat my overnight oats and I feel like I could easily make this, but I'm lazy, it's about convenience. And then I'm gonna have my coffee from yesterday. We're not gonna count this because that was yesterday. Actually, I didn't even pay for this, my boyfriend did, so shout out to him. I think this is $2, I have to check. Oh, that was sweet. I don't like to shop at Whole Foods because it is pricier, but I had to drop off an Amazon package there. Some, I didn't know they do that there, but I was like, might as well get these while I'm there. And then I actually got these at Sprouts, I think the week previous to that, and they were only $1.50. I think they were on sale there. All right, this is my lunch today. It's just a chicken. Um, I don't know if the chicken is correct. I don't, this is really good. My meals from last week, I, I was like, oh, they're okay. But like this week, they're really hidden. Monday, I only spent $5.04 on that protein powder. Not the powder, but the drink. I do have protein at home. I realized that after. The reason why I didn't drink my protein at home is that I thought it was expired. Okay, also on Monday, I actually got charged for the gym for my whole month, which is $22.99. I think that comes out to 76 cents a day. I actually started looking into going into Equinox because I, I don't like my gym. Of course, Equinox doesn't put their prices on their website. So I did a little research and it was like around $300, I think. So I was like, I can't, I can't justify spending a car payment on a gym membership. I won't put my money in my gym membership. I'll just put it towards my food. So that's why I started doing um, those macro plates. So that is, I think 130 a week. I'll calculate it right now. So I pay $139 for those macro plates and it's two meals a day they actually charge for shipping which i had no idea at first i thought it was just included but whatever it makes sense so i'm technically paying about it's 13.9 so about 14 dollars per meal that's kind of a lot actually it does make my life easier but again this is my first week doing it so i'm not sure if i'm going to continue doing it i I don't know like it i think it is a good place to spend my money though and i'm trying not to feel guilty about investing in myself and my health so we'll see we'll see how it pans out i might get tired of it and i might just start clicking again so i guess that total came out to 33.60 which is i guess not bad i mean but daily that is that's gonna get pretty pricey okay so i'm going to get my facial right now and i usually i never do this is the first time i'm doing this so um i will add it to my weekly expense obviously but uh, maybe I'll subtract it later because this isn't what I normally spend in a week. I don't know, but I'm kind of excited. Not, I am kind of scared of needles for some reason. I'm not really that scared. I don't know. We'll see when we get there, but um, I'll see if I can record. So let's go. All right, I'm a few minutes early and I forgot to mention this is a vampire facial. So trigger warning, there will be, you know, so don't watch if, um, yeah, if that triggers you, like, Oh my god, I'm... Uh. Also, real quick, I think it is $800. Yes, that is very pricey. I never spend this much on myself for, like, self-care. Also, I am getting a discount because my friend works here. Honestly, that's probably the main reason why I'm doing it because I would not usually... I don't pay that much for this kind of stuff. Oh, also, I did just save $20 on parking. I found street parking, so uh, I think we're, we're in the clear, so I won't get a ticket. Yeah, if that makes me feel any better, I'm just gonna say I didn't pay for parking because that is when- Don't say I didn't warn you because yeah, the, that's my blood. Um, they basically spun it and then they're needling it back into my face. I can barely move my face. <laughs> you can barely move your face, I agree. 
All right, let's break down yesterday. So I did my face treatment and um, as you can see, like it's still healing. It's just a little red. I don't know if you can see all that. Um, it's like I put makeup on right here. So like that is bruised. If you guys don't know what this is, it's like getting rid of my sunspots, of reducing a little more of like the lines and really just like adding collagen into my skin and my face. So the, technically they say that you need three treatments, but we'll we'll see where I'm at after this first one and I'll see if I want to do it again. But it, honestly, it didn't hurt. Like it just felt like, I don't want to say tickle because like I, I wasn't laughing, but it was just like this vibrating on my face. Kind of like when you get a tattoo, but minimally minimal pain compared to that so because i got my friend's discount i ended up paying 260 for that and then i did end up getting boba yesterday which i didn't want to spend money on and my boyfriend kept saying no no but i really wanted boba and um he had a hard day at work the past this week so i was like you know what like let's get boba let's get out of the house so i did that which i knew i would regret actually i don't regret it that was really good so i spent 12 dollars that's a lot for boba Okay, so technically I spent about $300 yesterday because I'm adding on the meals that I have. So that's that that was a lot. That was a lot of money. All right, I'm gonna get a free sugaring right now. Thanks are so hairy. Thank you. You're welcome. As of today, Wednesday, I haven't spent any money. I did get a free drink from my boyfriend, but that's because I did actually work for him. I was modeling, you guys saw the sugaring. So I haven't spent anything besides, I guess, my meal. That would be $13.90. So I'm really just trying not to spend anything today. So we'll see how that goes. Well, I'm at the Americana right now because I'm in the area and I really have to buy a new keyboard. So I was like, okay, since I'm already here, I'll just get it. So I'm gonna drop like $100. So, oh, I wasn't planning. <laughs> oh my God, I okay, I have a problem. Maybe I have a problem. So I had to get a new keyboard. This was non-negotiable. Like my keyboard is crusty, dusty. I can't even press some of the buttons. Like it's just, that had to happen. My keyboard came out to 109 and that's a business expense. So, you know, we had to do what we had to do. So usually when I go to the Americana, it's very tempting and I went to Aritzia and didn't buy anything, okay? And yes, I had to, okay? All my girlies know you have to replenish your stock, so I had to get my gel brow, which is a staple, okay? It's just things that I need to look presentable and feel good. And we needed a new beauty blender because mine was gross. Since I did my micro needling, I didn't want to use the same sponge. I did wash it off the other day, but I'm like, yeah, this probably isn't good. I got a new lip color because I've had the same lipsticks for since 2018, which is probably not even, I shouldn't be using them. I am wearing it right now and it's cute. I left the receipt on my desk, but this came out to around $59, which is really good for Sephora. Like everyone knows when you go to Sephora, it's at least like $180. And okay, this, this was slightly impulsive. I was considering this for about a week now and I ran out of my Chloe perfume and I was looking for a new one and I have a few Mason Margiela testers. So I was like, okay, you know, we're just gonna get it. So I got Bubble Bath by Margiela. It feels good to smell clean and nice. I feel elevated when I'm wearing a nice scent or just like I got my shit together and uh, you can't go wrong, you know? And the lady that sold it to me, she was so cute. She kept calling me cute, which is, which is nice. Oh, so <laughs> the price, the price. Yeah, I, I forgot we gotta get around to that. Oh my God, I spent so much today. This with tax almost came out to 160. Am I proud? No, but am I gonna smell clean in like a bubble bath? Yes. I feel great about this purchase and I don't normally spend like this. It's okay to spoil myself sometimes. On the positive note though, I didn't pay for coffee. I ended up spending a total of just, and this is just this morning. It's barely noon. Um, I spent $327 and 45 cents. So needless to say, I'm done. I won't be going outside 
Actually, I do have to return my Amazon stuff, but I'm not gonna be buying anything, I promise. Today, I'm gonna get my brows and lashes done. I get my lashes permed, and then I also get my eyebrows laminated, so it makes life just so much easier. My eyelashes just like go straight down, so even when I curl them, it takes me literally like five minutes to make sure that they stay curled. It's so annoying. So that's why I get my lashes done. It's just convenience. I'm just paying for the convenience. Okay, we made it to the end of the week, and I'm still a little scared to see what how much I spent this week because I know it's a lot. I know it has to be a lot. I just like, I don't naturally track my spending. Like I'll check, I have mint. I do check it occasionally and I usually, I know, like I just know not to spend. You know, that's just how I guess I budget and I know I've been spending a lot this week so it cannot be good. So um, I'm gonna look at everything later on. It is the moment of truth, the part that I don't wanna face. I'm gonna break down what it costs just to live in LA, like my rent expenses, car, all that. So my rent in Los Angeles for a one bedroom apartment is $1,600, which is really good for an unit washer and dryer. I have a pretty big space and it does help that I have a roommate. If you're trying to rent in LA, honestly, just like, I found my roommate on Tinder, like we're chill, you know? It works out well, so we each split rent. That's $800 each. I mean, $800 for rent is not bad really not bad. Of course, living in LA comes with owning a car that's just part of the culture out here. Public transportation in LA is literally Dante's imprint. It's the ninth layer of hell. It's just, it's bad. It, it's not cute. I'm saying this from experience. I must say I'm very grateful to have a car. My car is $290 a month. And for insurance, I pay $116.36. And for gas, I sometimes get gas, like it could be either once a week or twice a week. I do drive a hybrid, so that also helps. I'm gonna break it down to $50 a week for gas because that's just kind of what makes sense to me. For my water and power bill, it averages out to about $100 per month. And to go to the gym out here, it costs me $22.99. So those meal plans that I brought up this week, I will actually continue to do that because it just saves me a lot of time. Life is just so much easier. So that is $139 per week. Let's do some math real quick because I cannot, um, I can't calculate this in my head. So just give me a minute. So for the whole month, just to live in LA, it cost me $2,165.00. 35 cents, which comes down to $541.33 per week. I feel like that's a fair amount for somebody that lives in the biggest urban area in the world. I think that price is very manageable. Let's keep that in mind and then I'm gonna add up what I spent this week. So my spending this week came out to $739.70. Um, yeah, that is a lot and I usually don't spend like that. This was a treat myself week. This is the week that I got all my maintenance done. Microneedling was new. I actually will continue to do that. I think it's worth it. I mean, my skin is glowing. Just look at it. Let's add in my rent and utilities. So for the whole week, to live in LA, it cost me $1,281.03. Is $1,200 a lot to spend in one week? Yeah, definitely. This really put things into perspective for me and it is a little nerve wracking to go through these numbers, but I do, I use Mint, this, this is not sponsored, okay? I wish it was sponsored, but I've been using Mint since I was 18. If you don't know what that is, it's just like a budget tracking website. Um, kind of bad but like when i was 18 i would like i set it up but i never really intentionally like used it and i was like oh when i'm like 25 i'll i'll get my money right and like i i did i actually at 25 that is when i started to finally get my money right but i should not have spent recklessly because i definitely had a shopping addiction I will say I'm glad I got that out of my way because now I don't spend as much money on clothes as I used to. At this point in my life, I'm willing just to spend money on convenience. I'll invest whatever I have to invest to be healthy and to improve my life. If I didn't go through that shopping addiction at 18, 19, like I wouldn't be where I am today. I would be spending more recklessly than I did this week. Something else that I realized since I kind of just started making adult money or like an average salary, I am willing to spend more. I'm not trying to take the cheapest route now. Like I feel like before I used to because I had no other choice. I think things just end up being more expensive if you take the cheap route. So I'm willing to spend the money where I need to, where I won't have to like fix any problems because of quality or just like cheap work, cheap service. That's currently where my money mindset is. And it's so crazy. I mean, you see how much I make, like I'm very transparent with my income. But some of you asked like how I pay myself through my business and I did, well, I had my accountant, my old accountant, um, that's not working with me anymore. I had him set up payroll for me. I don't pay myself that much because a lot of my expenses can be written off. So I just keep it all on my business. And then whatever I buy separately, I just put on my personal credit card because we love racking up those 
points. So it just makes things easier and then I just pay off the whole credit card at the end of the month. All right, so that's what an LA native spends in a week here. I don't know, maybe you're trying to move here. I just wanna give you a realistic overview or maybe you're just being nosy because I'd be nosy too. I feel like this is a long time coming because I share how much I make. I never really show how I spend my money. So this is how I spend my money. Please do not forget to subscribe and like this video so the algorithm can favor me. I appreciate it. Okay, bye.